years, four years, I had your back. Four years, I helped you. Four years, I motivated you. Four years, you know what I'm saying? They don't know about us, baby. shower with me there you go there's his face conditioner in his hair because y'all see he got a whole bunch of it um i take credit for that <laughs> i use this curl enhancing smoothie on his hair and i use it on him me and the girls so um yeah it just works all the way around and i just massage it in give him a nice little head massage got massage all right, y'all. Hey, I look crazy. I know, but work with me. Got my Starbucks early this morning. I haven't put myself together in days. I've been feeling like shit, to say the least. So I decided. I decided today. Um, it's not gonna be the day where I look like shit. I'm gonna pull it together. So I'm gonna do a. I guess to get ready with me, chat with me, um, for all the kids wake up and get myself together for the day. I wash my face in the shower. He's upset because Kaya came to the door, but she's gotta take a shower first so she can't play and he wants to go play, but he, she can't play cause she gotta take a shower first. So he's crying. Okay, well you gotta relax, okay? Can you do that? So like I was saying, I'm gonna use some of this beauty cream um, just to moisturize my face a little bit from Pons. I actually got that from the 99 cent only store. Two bucks up now. So, anyway, the kids are slowly but surely waking up, but we'll try to get through this as best we can. If I don't use Pons, I'll use my cocoa butter. Um, because that's always a tried and true. But I saw Pons the other day in the store, and I was like, I should actually buy more than one of these. I bought one for me and one for my mom, but I should have bought a couple. Cause I saw these at um, the 99 cent store and you don't see pawn stuff there all the time. So gotta pick it up when you see it cause it's a good brand. I need my eyebrows threaded. I don't know if I have time today, I'll go do it. But if not, I'll have to wait. Girl, they are overgrown. Oh, but anyway, I have a way to fix that. At least for today. <sighs> I know that I did a live stream the other day with the whole um, person who was playing on my phone, acting like, acting like they were pregnant by my husband. Um, after that live stream, I was so drained and tired. I took a nap and um, I went back to sleep before the kids got up, I guess I should say. And then I woke up to more messages from that fake number that were like, I'll put them up somewhere here. Basically saying, you know, we planned our baby ask his family it came with a link and if you click on the link it sends you to this other website it just all seems so fake website where it's like a chick with a picture of like a pregnant stomach i really i mean it really pissed me off but not to like it's just like why are you showing me pictures with no face why are you not giving me your name you know what I'm saying? Because if this was my man and I'm having a kid by him and we're trying to be together and you're ruining our stuff, I'm going to be like, my name is such and such, you know, from such and such, whatever. This is my name, um, you know, or whatever. And we're just trying to, be, you know, then I would proceed with whatever shit I was trying to talk. I wouldn't just be talking all this random stuff i'm like well who are you who is this 
I need more to go off of than just a faceless picture. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, they tried to list one of their, one of his family members names and it's like anybody could have found that information out, you know? Um, when you look up on those sites, people's information, you know, like their first name and last name and birthday and all that other stuff. When you look that stuff up on those websites, those websites give you possible, um, possible people that they could be related to or associated with. Like, you know, at this point, what can I do? Um, besides just wait and see. But I, my heart of hearts tells me this is just some bogus ass bullshit and somebody was playing on my phone. Um, after I sent him, I sent him and his mom those screenshots of the belly picture and the person like, ask so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Uh, his mom was like, of course, she ended up messaging me back and was like, no, I, no, I don't know nothing about this. This sounds fake. Um, and then after I sent him that, I was like, you need to call me right now because it's getting serious. Um, then he calls me. He, that's when he was like, I don't know who that is. That's playing. It's got to be somebody from YouTube trying to play with you. You know, it can't possibly be for me because I know he said he said it just like this. I know what I've done and I know what I haven't done. And to me, it's like, oh, really? Well, what the fuck have you done? I'd like to have that conversation, but I didn't have the energy that day. I really didn't. It was just, I didn't have the energy. So, um, I was using some concealer to clean up my eyebrows and cover up these extra hairs. Basically that was that. And then we had a little bit more of a conversation about some other things and I wanted to see where his mind frame was at. I wanted to see where he was really staying. The fact that he's not staying with his mom makes me feel like he's staying with a female. Um, and I don't care what he says. I don't care what nobody says, really. Because I just don't see the reason why you wouldn't stay with your mom. I, I see no reason why you wouldn't just go back home since you're so distraught and mentally unstable or whatever, going through a depression or whatever the fuck the, whatever the excuse is. The conversation that we had wasn't that long, but during that conversation, I had asked him some things to kind of see where his mind was at, just had to try to see like what his intentions were and stuff like that. Um, also, and it just was like, he's not, he's still blaming me for everything. And he's like, well, I'm gone because of you and you told me to leave and you're not, you know, um, thinking about, you know, anybody but yourself. And, and I'm just like, nigga, I'm sorry. Who the fuck am I supposed to be thinking about right now? You, your feelings, nigga, you're not even here. You know what I'm saying? And what exactly do you want me to do for you? I told him, I was like, I would, <laughs> the help that you need, I can't give you. You know, if you're mentally depressed or if you, uh, or not, if you're emotionally, if you're emotionally going through something and you're depressed, what the fuck can I possibly do for you? You know what I'm saying? Like it, I, I feel like the help, if you are really going, truly going through something, and I say if, because I don't feel like, I feel like he's going through some things. Um, I don't feel like he's all the way present. But at the same time, the reason why he's in that mind state is because of himself. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I don't want to get people thinking that I'm just blaming him for the reason why he's depressed because, you know, depression comes from many different things and I don't want to, People that think that I think that he brought that stuff on that that on himself unnecessarily, but really he did. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know the whole story, but he did bring that on himself. Um, but I can't, I can't be with somebody. I can't be with somebody who constantly blames other people for their problems. Um, and, and and by other people, really, I mean me. He blames me for everything. And I hate that. Um, and I can't I can't be with somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like constantly blaming me for not caring enough or you know what I mean? I'm just like, you know, I, I have eight and a half kids, nine kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't I don't think about and I'm I'm not to be rude or to be selfish. I'm not thinking of, you know, 
how to how to please you today you know and um and there's reasons for that his mind frame just hasn't changed one bit and it just you can't go through life being a grown individual blaming everybody for why you don't why you feel the way that you feel he's portraying that he's going through this massive situation and um because and he's not getting any support from me and it's supposed to be about him i'm supposed to put me to the side the bills to the side the kids to the side and everybody to the side the household to the side to support him but how you know i asked him when he was here i said what do you need from me before it got to the point of breakup i said what do you need from me? what do you need for me to do to help to make you feel like you're supported what do you what, what do you need if it's within my power to do realistically i will do it but what is it that you need and he couldn't express that to me because he doesn't know what because it's not something that i need to do it's something that he needs to fix within himself and i think i just it's really sad the more time that goes by i just been reanalyzing everything that's been going on and i realized that this is not this is not this is not a me thing this is a him thing this is not something that i can make him feel my lips are dry he needs to change some things within him there's nothing i can do and so i'm not going to beat myself up about it even though he's trying to drag me down and say this is your fault i'm going through some things and you're just telling me you don't want to be with me you know what i mean it's not that and i'm not about to listen or entertain any any other idea of what he thinks is going on because you left me so if anybody doesn't have anybody's back it's you who doesn't have my back you see what i'm saying um I'm going to use some of my Fenty foundation just a little bit. It's too hot to be out here doing a whole bunch. I don't know if that's a little bit, but and, but you guys get the point that I'm trying to make. The man is broken. And I just can't fix him. And um, it's this breakup has been harder because, You know, I don't know if he's watching my videos or if he just clicks on to see if I'm talking about him or not. But, you know, he did mention that, like, well, you're talking about our relationship. And I'm like, well, this is my channel and I, my channel is about my life. And right now, you, you know, it is. what it, I hate when people do malicious things and then they expect you to act like nothing ever happened or they expect you not to tell anybody like it's supposed to be a secret like i'm gonna fuck you over i'm gonna treat you bad but let it just stay between us you know no if you're gonna treat somebody bad be prepared for the world to know don't do it unless you're confident that you don't give a shit who finds out i know i'm jumping around but stay with me okay but the night that he left and we had that long conversation that I told you guys about. He said not one good thing about me. Not one good thing about me. Not one good thing. And I, I, after a while, I got tired of hearing it. And I just said, you know what? If I'm all of these things. I just used a little bit of makeup. I just used a light brown from this Too Faced palette. I'm going to use this um, Tarte palette. But um, he was just like you know, saying all these things about me, like, you know, I was the worst fucking person in the world. Like, well, you treat me like this and you do this and you do this. And I mean, I'm just like, okay, did you have nothing good to say about me? I think he did that to try to justify him leaving, in my opinion. I was just kind of sad. It's kind of depressing. It's kind of like, whatever. It makes you want to cry. And I just... I can't do that right now. I'm trying to focus. And I know people say, don't give it any energy. It's it's really easier said than done. That's my husband. Right now, I'm just dipping um, an angled brush into some dark eyeshadow because I, I don't know where my eyeliner is. So this is what you can do if you don't have eyeliner or if you prefer to do it this way. Um, some people think, think it lasts longer. Or it's easier to apply. I, I don't care either way. You have to be in this position to know. Like you have to literally be pregnant and left pregnant <laughs> you know to fend for yourself not even fend for yourself because y'all know i don't have to tell you guys that i know how to take care of myself you guys see that on a regular basis you know not only did i and you know what let me just mm -hmm, i guess 
always that one eye. Let me just say this real quick before I get out of here. I don't need, I don't need any motherfucker telling me, excuse my language. I'm never going to listen to somebody try to tell me that I don't have their back. Because that's what my husband's trying to make it seem like, oh, you weren't there for me. You're not there for me. I'm going through a lot and it's all about you. Uh, you know, you can't, it's all about you. It's all one-sided, blah, 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 blah. Nigga, I'm eight months pregnant with eight kids, three of which are yours. And it's all about me? Well, is there supposed to be a time in life where it's not about your wife? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I asked him that. Is there a time where it stops being about your wife and your family and your kids? Is there a time where I'm supposed to stop giving a shit, where you're supposed to stop caring about me and only care, care about you? When I don't get that luxury. I gotta make sure the kids are straight, he's straight, the house is straight, the bills are straight, everything. And for him to even come at me and try to tell me that I didn't care or I don't have his back for years, for years I had your back, for years, I helped you. Four years, I motivated you. Four years. You know what I'm saying? When you didn't have, I had. When you came up short, I fulfilled that for you. Don't tell me I don't have your back. I ain't never had your back. I've been here since day one. Even when you cheated. Even when you fucked around with your baby's mama behind my back. Even when you lied. Even when you did stupid things that I told you not to do. And you did them anyway. I still stayed. I still tried to be there for you so to come at me and to tell me eight months pregnant right in the middle of a move right about to have a baby about to have a baby early about all these other th different things going on you're gonna try to tell me <laughs> that i don't have your back well who walked out on who when who needed who the most you know what i'm saying it gets me fired up i know we keep having the same conversation but y'all i'm gonna keep talking about it until i'm over it or until i feel like i don't need to speak on it anymore don't come at me like that especially because of the conversation we just had he still thinks that somebody's doing something to him or doesn't have his back nigga i took every, every meal that you've had for the last four years i prepared for you you know what i'm saying you had a roof over your head you have water to drink. You have fucking food to eat. And let me really quickly, let me just say, I see all these people talking about, you know, I, I've seen a couple of reaction videos, the ones that weren't so negative and, you know, I told you so-ish or whatever. And there are people who were like, you could tell in the vlogs that he was in, that he wasn't happy or that the way he was a negative spirit. That is true. He was a negative spirit. Even though I'm pissed, I'm mad, I'm upset, I'm all these different things, I'm still happier now than I was when he was here. Why? Because who can live their life like that? Who can live their life like that? Who can live their life with somebody who's never fucking happy? That was my life with him. Always negative, never happy, never looking forward to anything, never positive about anything, you know, occasionally would smile and laugh, but that, that just, it drives the whole house down. I tried because it's my husband. I tried because I love him. I tried because I felt like that's what I was supposed to do. You know? I tried to, like I said before, I tried to motivate. I tried to uplift. I tried to, you know, encourage. I tried to help him. You know? The small accomplishments that he has had were because of me. And I can only take you so far. I can take you to the water, you know? But I can't make you drink. You know what I mean? So, to me, it's just like, this is just regular, not regular powder. To me, it's just like, I, I don't, I'm offended by when he says that shit. It just, to me, it's just like, it's finally come to my attention that we don't belong together. And that's sad. Because I want to be with him. I want to love him. I want to, you know, I want us to be together. But I just can't take any more of the blame. I can't take, I can't be the blame. When you're, you, you need to blame yourself. But you're blaming me for where you are in your, in your life. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? If anything, you've held me back. And I mean that. Let me put on this other eyelash real quick. And then we're going to finish this up. All right. This is basically it.
Went from looking like blah to <laughs> y'all say. I need to uh do something with this real quick. I'm about to um get this flat iron and get to this hair. But y'all got y'all got what I was trying to say. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um uh, we have to have some more. I'm gonna probably do another video on like the next steps, what I plan on doing and everything like that. Uh, I'm trying to get my mentality together, but I don't see this going. I don't see us going and changing and going anywhere. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm sad about it, but life must go on. So I'm trying to move on. Uh, I hope to post more positive things for you guys in the future. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Hit a thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs from your girl. And I will see you on next vlog. Bye.